All right, YouTube, 116 Falconer here. Uh, this is that iRulu uh, projector, the HD 2600, whatever. Uh, somebody asked what video formats it'll play. Never did try it when I, when I did the initial review. So here, on this SD card, I have a .mts file, I have a uh, .flv, a flash file, and a uh, .mov, .mov file. Here, on this portable hard drive, 250 gigabyte, it's loaded with uh, movies, I think they're all AVI. So, it, it'll play, it, w it doesn't even recognize the uh, .mt .mts, which is like from the Sony cameras and whatnot. Um, the flash file, the FLV, it will not play. It shows it, but it's not supported. Which I didn't think it would be because this is, uh, I believe, an Android-based system, even though it's not Wi-Fi, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then the movies on here all seem to play. So I'll do it in a second. The other thing is, if you don't have your remote, it's a pain in the ass. All right? it took me a while to figure out how to get these freaking movies to show up in the screen. Um, what the hell do they do with the remote? All right, just a second, I'll be right back. Okay, I got the remote now. Um, what I'm going to do is fire this up. I'll have to turn the light off here in a minute so you can actually see something. But I have this set. Source is for USB 1. So if I use that and power it up. Um, she'll get going here in a minute. Shit, my granddaughter's here. Sorry about the wall. It's the only place I can find to do this. All right, so you see, it says no device over there. Okay, so if I just plug in the USB one, all right, so now you can see. USB 1. So now I'll go over to movie with the remote. Oop, got to point it at the machine. <laughs> and then it says C or whatever that is there. Enter again. So now you can see here this is a MOV, this is a FLV. Wait a minute. Or, let, let Papa get done with this. So Okay, I'm back. All right, so the uh, the the MOV file right there by the doorknob. If you arrow down to that, all right, you see that. If you hit Enter on your remote, not even Enter, it'll just auto play. It'll show you what's there. All right. So for the longest time, I'm like, what the heck, man? How do I get this? you know full screen what you got to do is on your remote you have to hit the play button hit the play button and it goes to full screen all right so that's it that's a that's a dot mov that's off of an iphone all right um So now I'll show you, I'll hook up that portable hard drive and show you, a, a, you know, AVI. Let's see here. How do we get back to wherever? All right, so we're going to go back. We're going to go back. Now I'm going to unplug the uh, SD card with the adapter in it. I suppose I could have set up USB 2 and just plug this in the USB 2, but that's not the way I roll, baby. Alright, so now 
And these USB ports are like upside down, so if you go to plug something in, you're not going to see your USB symbol here or whatever. It's got to be upside down. All right. So now we have the hard drive plugged in. You can see it's powered up here. All right. So now we'll use our remote. Go over to movies. Hit uh, free, whatever. You know, I don't know what the hell that means. Um, and I got a bunch of crap on this. Not only movies, but a bunch of other stuff. But we'll go down to movies. Right there, you see how it went over to movies. Enter. Alright, so we'll just pick anything up. Pick anything out, uh, 10,000 BC. Alright. So it's gonna auto preview. Now, if we wanna watch it, we'll just hit play. And now you're full screened. Alright. Um, so that's it. AVIs, uh, .movs, uh, MP4s that'll play, uh, you know, the common ones. It will not play uh, FLV files, flash files, or it won't even recognize .mts files. So, all right. So I hooked up my uh, little sound bar, all right, to here, to the projector. And uh, does a pretty good job. So, not as loud, of course, these movies, these ripped movies, I don't think the volume's as loud, anyways. So, but, all right, well, that's it.